Hello friends. Today we are into a new interesting exercise, exercise number five, and I hope you have completed the previous four exercises. All right, so let's get into this and understand what is the question. So in the interview, you might be asked, consider an array of integer, for example, num array equals to one, two, three, four, five. So you have got five numbers into an array. Okay. So the question for you: How can you print this array? Can you show that? And the second question for you: Is it possible to add another number? For example, six. I want to add another number at the end. Let's say six to this array. If is it possible? First of all, can you add it to an array? If you know, if it is no, or if it is yes, if it is yes, print and show the output. So this is the question asked to check your basic knowledge. All right. So let's see how to do that. So let me open the studio, and here in the studio, what I'm going to do is start designing this particular activity or this particular workflow. So what I'm doing, I'll use an assign activity first, and let's create a variable num array, right? And here I'm going to make it integer type done. Okay, so the array is created. Now I'm going to assign values to it. So I'll say num array, and here I can put two curly braces and start writing the numbers. Okay, all the numbers has been entered. Okay, so how to print it? So to print it, you have to use a message box, and in the message box, you have to. Do you know how to print that? right so let's start writing we will go to text and here the method that we have to use is string dot join okay that's all you need to remember string dot join and how you want to print it i will i want to print comma comma or whatever you want to give right or a space so in double quotes you have to write you no know, the differentiator i mean the comma or space you want to give after each number so i'll give a comma and here i will write the array array name that's all okay so this way i'll be able to show remember to put a comma here after the double quotes okay done and click on okay all right so this way if i run it it should be able to print all the numbers and show it to me okay let's see the output Okay, so you can see the output has come one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you understood how to print it. So the first question is clear. Now, second one is, will I be able to add another number to an array? Okay, will I be able to add another number to this array? Okay, yes, even we can do that. See, the answer is yes. So how do I do it? So I'm saying num array, and in the value, right here, I'm going to write something. So what should I write? I should say there is something called num array dot concat method i mean i want to add something to it right this variable is the array variable and i want to concat so that's all you have to do num array dot concat when any time a question is asked is it possible to add say yes it is possible and this is how you will be adding okay now what you do what you want to add i want to add a 6 right so what you do the format you remember is moon bracket and then curly braces and then let's say i want to add 6 done and at the if you click on okay here what is happening you will see there is an error still there and the error says cannot assign from type generic dot i numerable to in 32 it's not possible so why because there is a small mistake what is that mistake all you have to do is you have to simply say dot to array okay to array that's all if you do that error has gone and now this particular number has been added to the end of the array okay now let me print it again let me copy paste the same okay i have copied paste now if i see if i run this first output should show me 1 2 3 4 5 and the second output should show me 1 2 3 4 5 6 so let's run it in debug debug mode just to see okay 
okay now the first output has come from this one one two three four five wonderful okay now the second output has come one two three four five six getting it so were you aware of this one so this is one of the thing is a learning part for you through this exercise okay if you if you have done it please mark yes or comment yes uh, below this video um, and we will come up with more such exercises which is going to build your knowledge around ui path so a lot of uh, people who are not from the coding background and wanted to build their career in ui path right they have to have a lot of knowledge which is going to help them all right thank you guys we'll come up with the next exercise please continue with this playlist great thank you bye bye